What's up dudes and dudes of the year now my name is Seth and it's about time that we had another one of these vlog heart to heart moments isn't it? So a couple things that I do need to mention just because I haven't really told you about it or let you know. One is the fact that Roblox was kind of down in my region for a little while so thankfully a week or two ago it ended up resolving the issue now I can just play Roblox anytime that I want again and I've got a couple videos that I'm actually working on right now and we'll see what ends up happening with that. It's just some more random multiplayer stuff, which I still think is very, very fun to end up doing. And if you're wondering why I'm looking out the door like a freak, it's because I'm waiting for my cat to get back. No Man's Sky... <laughs> it's gonna be a little while before this ends up happening, but I'm pretty sure and can confidently say that I'm getting to the end of the series. I ended up going forward, just starting to rush the main quest. You're gonna see very, very soon there's gonna be videos of No Man's Sky that are gonna have a lot more cuts and get a lot more done in the episode time. And at the moment, I'm actually really, really trying to spend any spare time that I have to try and rush to the center of the galaxy off camera so that I can include that in the final episode. Trope's been going good like it always has. Not really that much exciting stuff stuff going on in the game though and I think that's why there's a little bit of a divide going on where lots of people aren't really as interested in the series just because they're not really as interested in the game because the only thing that really came out was the dino tamer generally speaking nobody really cares about that class I mean granted like a lot of us do enjoy the class in general yes but the overall consensus is that nobody really cares for the class. They think that it's just a, a pirate captain clone. That's why I kind of made that nod in my tutorial video. And I think that the devs kind of made a big mistake by releasing the Dino Tamer character before they ended up putting out the biome. Because seriously, that biome's where it's at. Why wasn't that released with the Dino Tamer? Now, I know that they're going to be releasing the Dino Biome with the Dino Tamer when he's available for people that have class coins. But still, man, it kind of killed the hype like really, really fast, didn't it? And then Spiral Knights. I've been having a lot of fun with that one. Been finding more and more time off camera to hop on. All I end up actually doing though when I do sign in to Spiral Knights is just messing around in town. I love the emotes that the game has, like you can beg and sniff people and stuff like that and it's, it's a lot of fun just messing around with that with people that are in the town. I will say that I actually have a bunch of mail from players and although I've been adding everybody back as a friend and I do want to say thank you to all of your kind words because you know there's been so much support on that series. Series, more so than I ever have had probably on another random side game. You know, lots of people really hoping that me doing videos on it is going to kind of revive the community a little bit. And on top of that, just lots of people sharing their support to me in game as well. So anyways, as I was saying, I have a whole bunch of different items from other players. I'm going to open those in a video because I want to be able to see what they ended up giving me in case it's like secretly the best weapon in the game or something, which I'm sure all of you are going to let me know about that anyway right and last but not least maple story 2 yes i know that it's a thing right now uh you know it's only the korean version i've been keeping an eye out for maple story 2 for a very very long time it's been released in korea i i don't know if it's still in beta but it isn't released in north america however i did see that there are some english patches and because of that i might end up trying to see if i can sign up for the game even though it's the korean version and still end up doing videos on that because if you don't already know Maple Story 2 looks absolutely awesome. It's pretty much the first Maple Story, which is a side-scrolling online game. Maple Story 2 is kind of a 3D Minecraft-ish type of game that has a lot of the same gameplay mechanics, but it's 3D instead of side-scrolling. Needless to say, people have been requesting me to play that game for a very long time now, and recently more people have been saying so, so that tells me that either another YouTuber ended up doing a video on it, and now the game's kind of gained a little bit more popularity, or maybe the English patch ended up getting like released and it's actually a better English patch. As far as I know, all the English patch does is makes it so that all of the text in-game is translated not in-game, but like the in-game chat. So like other players and what they say and stuff. So for quests and junk like that, I'm just gonna have to hope that it's obvious enough. This one means okay. This one means cancel, you know? 
And besides all the YouTube stuff, lots and lots of crazy in real life stuff going on. I wish I could talk about it, but unfortunately I'm not gonna do that because I still have my private life. Oh, and then all of you freaks keep wanting to see my cat. So here we go. This is Bobo. He loves this camera. He always rubs against it every single time. So he is super duper old, like seriously a very, very old cat. And you can kind of see when he hunches over like this, he's got a little bit of butt problems, which is disappointing. Uh, you can also see like, uh, maybe you won't be able to see it with the camera, but his fur is kind of turning brown. The, the, the black that's on his head is what his actual hair color is. So I don't know if this is the equivalent of him, get, him getting gray hair or if it's just because he's been getting so much sun lately. He's a crazy cat who always wants food, always wants love, shut up, always wants attention. He's also one of the types where even though he's really, really old, he still acts like a kitten and like a little baby. So try to give him as much love as possible, you know? All right, fine, get off of me. This is Cloud. She's an outdoor cat who's outside almost all the time, pretty much, and uh, is like the harbinger of fleas. So every time we keep giving them flea medicine and stuff, she always runs out and finds whatever place has the fleas and then comes right back. And then there's Evie, which is like our fatter cat, but she's like always gone too. And she's kind of weird in the head where like if you sing in high frequencies, she'll like come around to rub and get attention and stuff. And when she's really, really happy and purring, she'll be like rubbing on you like crazy and then she'll bite you, but it's like a love bite. So I don't know, pretty crazy personalities for some cats, right? But anybody who has cats already knows how crazy they can be. Anyways, I gotta get back to editing those Roblox videos. Scarlet is gonna be calling me on Skype anytime soon and uh, I gotta do a whole bunch of uploads and you can also hear a bunch of people screaming in our mic chat. So <laughs> yeah, have a fantastic day everybody. Sign on and stay epic.